right. So we've logged into MyKW now, and yep. we click on Start My Transactions here, and that brings us into that loop here. Okay. Now what my goal is to show you how to submit the paperwork to the office properly. Okay. Because you've been creating the paperwork outside of dot loop, which is fine. So once we're in the dot loop, you may see a couple different versions of dot loop. If you see a different version of dot loop that looks like this, you may see this is the newer <clears throat> version. Is that what I'm supposed to use? No, I like version? I like using the older version actually. Okay. It, 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 uh, so here's the newer version. If you get to the newer version, just simply click on your your photo over the top right hand corner, yeah. and you click on switch to old dot loop. And that gets you to the old, the old version. Okay. So once we're here, all we have to do is click on create a loop. Okay. Here, when I click on create a loop, what that's going to do is it's going to ask us to select a loop template. In your case, because you already have the paperwork signed, we're not going to select a loop template. Okay. So we would type in, let's, we're going to do an example of a listing. So I would type in the address of the property. And then I type in the type of transaction. So in this case, I would do listing. And then I would put your last name here. Okay. And then I usually put like the, I put a uh, client's last name here, just so I know if I need to search for it or something okay. like that. And so that the office can easily find this. So I just put it here. In this case, we'll say Mr. Seller. Okay. okay. And then we just click create a loop here. Okay. When we click create a loop, that's now going to give us the loop where we can add our paperwork in it. Okay. Now, what we've done previously is we, I've shown you how to scan the paperwork to your email, so you know how to do that, correct? Yes. Okay. So in my email, for this example, I have, a, I have a pro, uh, an email with a contract that's attached to it here, just so for an example okay. purposes. Okay, so here we have the option all the way on the right hand side to click email. Okay. That allows us to email the documents directly into the loop. loop. So once we get this here, we click on this copy to clipboard here, and then that copies this email address. We come back to our email, and we can scroll all the way down to the bottom of our email, and we just click forward okay. in our email. And then all we do is we've copied that email address. We can just do a left click on our mouse. I'm sorry, uh, a right click on our mouse, right click on our mouse, and click paste, and that pastes the email address right in there. Okay. And then we click send in our email. And then we wait a few seconds while this sends. And. Just hit refresh here for a minute. If I refresh the screen. No, wait a little bit more. And we'll see that that document has been put in the folder here, the one I just emailed there. Okay. okay. Once we're there, we'll just come over to the top right here and we click submit for review. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we tell the office what type of con what type of agreement is this? Is it a listing agreement or is it a buyer agreement? Those are the only two agreements that we need to have uh, signed okay. by the broker that are typically used. So then all we do is we select which folder it is and click submit and that will send it to the managing broker for review. And that will get your paperwork to the office.